Okay, so we have four. Here we have four movie theater popcorn containers, and the price of each is listed beneath. Our goal is to figure out what's the best deal for your dollar, right? Um, so let's find the volume of each of these, right, and compare that to the cost to figure out the best deal. So quickly, I'm going to use the formulas of volume here that we've talked about in past videos. Um, if you're interested, interested in the intuition of these formulas, this video is really an application of those formulas. So um, here, here I would say go back and look at some of the videos to gain some intuition about why these formulas make sense. Anyway, first we have an upside down, right, rectangular or square pyramid. Here's our square right here, 10 by 10. So to find the volume, I take one third of a rectangular prism with the same height. So you can almost imagine that there's this rectangular prism here, right? And our square pyramid's fitting inside of it. There it is. So this, the volume of the of the square pyramid is one third of that prism. So we're gonna take one third of thirty by ten by ten. I'll leave the units out. I'm gonna simplify. Thirty divided by three is ten, right? So 10 times 10 times 10, and that's, well, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. So this gives us 1,000 cubic centimeters, right, for $10. So I'm going to set up for $2, excuse me. That's my first ratio. $2, oh, I'll just write 2 for $2. And that's for this shape. Next, we have a cone. Well, the cone is similar in the sense that it is one-third of a, of a cylinder with the same height and radius, right? So this is my drawing. It's terrible, I'm sure, but picture that the cone's fitting inside. So we take one-third, right, of pi r squared h, the volume of the cylinder with the same height and radius. So that's, well, the radius is 10, so radius squared is 100, times the height of 30, right, and one-third over there. I'm going to cancel out the 30 and the 3, as before, right, and 10. So now we have 10 times 100, which is 1,000, Right times pi. Well, here, sorry, here, um, here we have a thousand times pi cubic centimeters. We're paying a little bit more, but we're getting quite a bit more, right? Just because you see a thousand, two point five, two fifty, just because you see a thousand pi doesn't mean this is just a thousand cubic centimeters. It's a thousand times pi. It's about three thousand cubic centimeters. So, I mean, that's one wonderful thing about a cone. It's got a whole lot more than a, a pyramid of the, same, of the same height and radius. Anyway, keep going here. We have next a cylinder. Here the cylinder, we have a radius of 8, right, and a height of 20, and our formula is pi r squared h. So we square the 8, that's the radius, get 64 times a height of 20 times pi. So I'm going to quickly use my calculator here. I don't want to take too much time. 20 times 64, 1,280 times pi. So this is 1,280 pi for $3.75. And then last over here, we have a rectangular prism. And of course, that's length by the width by the height. And that's going to be 12 times 15 times 20. All right. 12 times 15 times 20. We get 3,600, so that's 3,600 cubic centimeters, right, for $3.50. Okay, um, and here, I'm sorry, I should have wrote it here as well. This is cubic centimeters. Now we have these ratios to deal with, so let's line them up. And I think, I think we might see some nice things work out. Let me just fix this. Okay, this goes over here. Oh, you know, before I even move them around, let's see if we can rule anything out. Well, the goal is to find out maybe something simple, like how much for each dollar. That would be nice. So I'm going to, instead of having $2, dollars two fifty, let's reduce each of these to compare them based on a unit rate. So that means based on one single unit or one dollar. So this ratio is the nicest of all. Divide both sides by two, and you and that tells you that for one dollar, right, you get 500 cubic centimeters of popcorn. That's the rate of this container, right? Here, a little bit trickier, but we'll divide both sides by 2.5, and I'm going to leave it in terms of pi still if I can. So 1,000 pi divided by 2.5, you can think of just 1,000 
divided by 2.5, and we'll leave the pi there. That's 400. So that tells me it's 400 pi, right, cubic centimeters for a dollar. I'm just dividing both sides by 2.5. Gives me a nice rate. Now I can compare these two almost, right? And what do you see right away? Well, for a dollar here, it looks like you get less at first because you see the 400, but it's about 400 times 3, or 1,200 cubic centimeters of popcorn for a dollar, whereas here you only get 500 cubic centimeters. And that's just not quite the same thing, right? Not nearly as nice. So this is certainly out. It's not a good deal because this is a better deal. So now we're comparing to this thing. In this ratio, I'm going to divide both sides by the dollar amount again, by 3.75. Because I know that'll tell me one dollar, right? How much I get for one dollar? Three point seven five divided by three point seven five is just one dollar. So what's twelve eighty? We have twelve eighty pi. What's twelve eighty divided by three point seven five? Well, we get three hundred and forty one and a third, three hundred and forty one and a third pi cubic centimeters of popcorn. Get that in there for a dollar. So. This is still not as good, right? Because 341 and some fraction times pi is going to be less than 400 pi. So this is not as good of a deal as the cone. And here we have our last and our closest, I think, comparison, at least until we divide. So what am I going to divide both sides by? Well, my strategy so far has been to always divide by the dollar amount. So I'll do it again. Divide both sides by 3.5. 3.5 divided by 3.5 is just 1. It's a very nice number. And then 3,600, right? That's what we got before. Just to double check because I can't read my handwriting. Sorry. 20 times 12. This is the volume of the prism. 3,600. That's going to be divided by 3.5. So it's 1,028.57. Well, 1,028. About 5. What was that? About 5.7 cubic centimeters. And in fact, I'm not even worried about the details. Why? Because, well, 400 times pi, three is, pi is over 3 already. So 400 times 3 is 1,200, and that's already bigger than this. So the best deal, by far, is this cone of popcorn. You get the most for your money. Thanks a lot.